Hey there, everybody. Tom Swift with Basecamp Trading. It is Wednesday, June 20th, and we're going to take a look at crude oil here, and more specifically, a setup that we in a trade that we had in the trading room today that is one we look for almost every Wednesday whenever we have the crude announcement. And it, that announcement is the EIA report, which is telling us the supply and demand changes basically in crude oil, our Bob Heaton oil, and some others. But what we look for, that announcement comes out right at 10.30. So you can see right here is when the announcement comes out. Right there, 10.30 price bar. And you see crude oil spike high and then turn around and start coming back down. And what we do is first, we're not going to try to trade this initial spike because trying to trade that, you're going to end up getting a lot of slippage. And you, you won't have a very good entry. It'll be pretty tight and you'll, you'll normally get chopped up. What we do want to look for though is we wait for it to kind of settle down and pick a direction and then go into compression. So for example, today the trade, so we rallied then pulled back and we kind of started trading down and then we went into compression here. Okay, and we drew a trend line going up and across the lows and we had a resistance level at the highs there from that power line. And we said, all right, our entry is either a break through the trend line and really wanted to see a break below 61, which was the pivot low right here, just below the trend line. It's either going to be the break through the trend line or it's going to be the break through the resistance level. So we let it settle down, went into compression. We said, all right, we expect volatility. We'll look for the breakout from this compression. Our entry was the breakdown right here, right below 63 at about 65, 61 was where we were getting in. And then we proceeded to sell off very nicely about $300 a contract before forming a bullish divergence and climbing right back up. And a lot of people in the trade room were able to take, take advantage of this because we sat there and we walked you through it as it was setting up and said, okay, our entry is going to be a break two to three ticks below 63 or a break above the highs there at 80. So keep in mind, when you're trading a news announcement like this, one of the better things to do is instead of trying to jump in right there on that initial surge, is kind of let the market digest the news a little bit and then give you a well-defined setup and then look to get in. So be patient. Don't try to get in within a second or so. Give it a few minutes. And normally within about 10, 15 minutes, within 10 to 15 minutes of the announcement, we will have had that setup take place. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And also make sure you join the trade room so you can come participate in these setups with us every day in the trade room and every Wednesday, especially with the EIA report. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the trade room tomorrow. And until next time, happy trading, everybody.